yard ain't big enough for the both of us. It's pretty spacey. Let's So, what kind of games do you think of when you think of RPGs that are kind of not like RPGs, but at the same time they are RPGs? I don't know what you do think of, but um, I think of Fatal Labyrinth, which is a game I just played a couple of minutes ago, and it's okay. Fatal Labyrinth. Now, Jackson is not here right now. Where is he? Uh, I don't know, actually. So, I'll be doing this for a while. Fatal Labyrinth is a Sega Genesis game that's a mix between an RPG and an adventure game. It's a, well, that is an RPG, to be honest, an adventure game with elements. But it's also at the same time not an RPG because I couldn't get through the game. It's actually really challenging. Well, that's because it's unfair. So let's take a look at Fatal Lab, 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 Fatal Labyrinth. It's okay. So, I don't really know much to do in this game, so why don't we talk about your main character? You're this guy. And he is a guy, I guess. I mean, he's not on the main title screen, but still, he's a guy. You basically play him through the labyrinth and you just find things. It's basically a maze RPG-ish game and you discover stuff as you go. Good idea. How you do this, however, is with really weird animation. I, your, your character moves with some of the weirdest animation I've ever seen. The controls in the game are actually pretty interesting. They're not terrible, to be honest. I mean, except for the menu. Well, I am using a keyboard for this, so... I guess it would be complicated. Keyboard! But, um, yeah, so that's probably what was confusing. But at random, we would press escape on the keyboard, so that's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah. Things. Basically, the controls are simple, they're not too slow, not too fast, but it's how you attack enemies. Just when you're attacked by an enemy, you stop and you track. If the enemy is to the right of you, you press right. If it's to the left, you press left. If it's up, you press up. If it's down, you press down. However, if you then, you're screwed. It, that doesn't happen in the game, as far as I'm concerned. One thing interesting about this game is actually the main enemy I see. Well, I don't know who the main enemy is, and well, as far as I could tell, it's this weird devil looking guy, but he kind of looks like this guy, so I'm not gonna bother that much. Anyway, so this guy kind of just happens in rooms. He's hard to beat, but he's not as hard as these annoying centipede enemies. I mean, they're gooey and slimy and snotty. I don't like them. There are items in the game and an inventory. You can use different items at a time, but I don't know how you know which one's different, so that sucks. But there are a lot of items. Some of them are pretty useful, some of them are not, and some of them don't do anything. I found a lot of short bows in the main, but I couldn't seem to equip them no matter what I did. I couldn't find them, and I was too lazy to look, so I gave up. But um, I have a question. If you look at the intro, you can actually move in it, but after you skip the intro, you're in a maze somehow. How did you get there? Well, then again, how did I go in a closet and suddenly go into the basement? Do all doors lead randomly? Huh. 
How did I get here? I also need to question about where you are again. Where am I exactly? I don't even know what maze I'm in. And, uh, I don't even know what maze I'm in, but it's red, it has walls, sometimes it leads somewhere else. It doesn't specify where you can and can't go, and I think it's easier to move around in New You Mean Nikki than in this game. If you haven't played New You Mean Nikki, don't worry, I haven't either, I've just seen it. Points in the you really want to. So, what do I think? Well, so far, again, with the difficulty, it's hard. It's hard to defeat enemies, it's hard to avoid enemies, it's hard to run away, hard to figure out where you're going, stairs lead nowhere. And I guess doors and stairs are your biggest enemy in this. You will never defeat me, door! Are you sure we shouldn't call the police? <laughs> the world must know. Aha! Uh -huh. Stairs! I knew you would come back someday, I knew it! And since I already took care of your front door after you beat me up, I think it's finally time to get my revenge on you. Don't worry, it's okay, I'm good, I'm good. Game. One thing I can say about this game is it has some gammy music. Hey kitty, I'm just petting the cat. Anyway, um, it has some gammy music, which really gets you motivated when you always die. And can never not die. Death is in inevitable in this game. But anyway, uh, the sound effects are also pretty cool. Uh, they're not like just original like every single game ever, except for this one. Uh, they're not like those. They're, they're pretty unique, and um, I think the graphics are really cool. I just really like the bricks. Bricks are cool. And then one thing that really annoys me about this game is the bats. So basically, when you kill those winged one-eyed things, it says, the bat has been killed or something like that. Like, it's not a bat. Whatever it is, you can call it a lion, you can call it a tiger, you can call it poop. Heck, even call it, wait, like, you can call it a lion, you can call it a tiger, even call it poop. Heck, even call it a parry. A parry the platypus, but don't call it a bat. It's not a bat. It's a one-eyed thing. So, yeah, that's one thing that really annoys me. Another thing that really annoys me is those dragon things, like, I haven't killed one. I'm pretty sure it's just because I'm really bad at this game, but you never know. They're really hard to kill, but it's possible. My brother did it, but maybe he cheated. I don't know. What I want to talk about is the bat, or uh, what's we'll called the parrot platypus, because I don't like it. But uh, it's just a, a spherical white winged creature with wings and a red eye in the middle and it's pretty easy to kill but when you kill it, it says you've killed bat and it's not a bat but yeah and the next mob is the dragon thing um what's it called? i want to talk about is the dragon thing i couldn't figure out the name but it probably says somewhere in the video but i was too lazy to look at it but it's just a dragon it's huge poison it hits you and it's pretty strong and it's kind of hard to kill no and another mob is the jelly the jelly i mean it's just a jelly that's it. And the final mob that we encountered, there's probably a lot more, is that boss thing. The thing that moves its arms and parries you. So yeah, that's all the mobs. Now one thing about this game is that, like, when you die, you just get, for some, for somehow, for some reason you just get the motivation to keep on playing. Like, no matter how many, okay, no matter how many times you've died, you just have the motivation to keep playing. So that's one thing I like, and then I never got past the boss because I'm really bad at games, but yeah. <laughs>
final dungeon. Here I go. Oh, oh, a bow. Huh, a long bow. A long bow. Don't mind if I do. Blue. Oh, huh. An another long bow. Uh, okay. Cool, cool. Oh, a, a short bow. <laughs> I needed this. I, I really did. Oh, what's this? Oh, a bow. Wow. Didn't expect that. Uh, a bow. <laughs> a happy Christmas. Oh, I I wonder what this is a, a bow. <laughs> Another dungeon. Here I go. I picked up an orange cane. I log say you've aged older. My back. A blue cane. You've aged even older. Nothing wrong with that. Oh my neck. My neck. I'm not picking you up, you silly cane. No, I didn't pick that up. You're about to die. What? What? 